Stuart, fourth game of the Six Nations is coming up on Sunday against Italy. Can you talk me through your team first of all, 1-15? to 15? Yeah, one or two changes uh, this week. Um, a couple of enforced ones, or one enforced one really, but uh, now in the front row we've got uh, Michael van Polen in for his first start. I think uh, he's waited patiently for that and uh, I think he deserves it. His form's been outstanding for Saracens. He's been excellent for us coming off the bench, so uh, this is a great opportunity for him to put a marker down now for the, uh, for the Wales game. Uh, Tom Youngs comes back in, you know, we felt his impact off the bench was, was strong against France and uh, you know, on merit he deserves to get that starting shirt um, and Dylan drops to the bench. Um, Dan Cole, Jeff Parlin, Joe Launchbury uh, as per the France game. Uh, and then James Haskell comes back in at six again, we've been pleased with James's form both off the bench and starting you know, in the Ireland game. Um, so we brought him back in with Tom at eight uh, and Chris Robshaw captain at seven. Uh, two changes at half-back with Danny coming in, uh, an opportunity for him to, to put a marker down as, uh, as with Mako, uh, waited patiently, you know, quality player, trusted it, uh, trust him and uh, um, Ben's done nothing wrong but Danny deserves a start I think this time and uh, I'm sure he'll uh, look forward to that. Uh, and then Toby Flood comes in for Owen, Owen's quad's not quite recovered um, so we don't want to risk him uh, and obviously with Toby on, uh, in the squad uh, and available to come in and start, you know, um, it's an easy decision, that one, um, with Freddie coming in on the bench to cover the fly-off slot. Um, centres and, and back three are the same, so Manu and Brad in the centre, uh, and um, Mike and uh, uh, Chris Ashton on the wing with Alex Good at fullback. And then, so that's five changes you're starting line up, and then a couple of changes on the bench, as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. So we've got um, David Wilson and Joe Marler covering uh, a prop, Dylan at hooker, um, Courtney covering second row, uh, and then Tom Croft obviously back in the mix uh, in the back row, so it's great to have him back. Uh, ben Youngs, Freddie Burns and uh, Billy Twelve Trees who will make the eighth sub. Mako makes his first start um, at loose head. His, his enthusiasm is infectious around the camp um, and he's, as you say he's made a big impact off the bench. Do you feel he's now got the form and fitness, especially the fitness, to make an impact from the start? Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah I, think, uh, I think he's shown that in training. Um, we do a lot of live scrums and a lot of work there. Um, so Graham does a great job with him. He's really developed in that area. Um, but his, uh, his lines are running, his ball carrying, his defence, his work rate, his physicality. Ball presentation and contact work is all, they're all very good. Um, and for such a young player, um, you know, it's an exciting position to be in. Danny Kerr and Toby Flood are two of your most experienced players and you really are picking from a position of strength there in those key areas, aren't you? Um, Ben's done nothing wrong, as you say. It's your chance to bring in a quality player as well. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes, you know, when you've got um, a motivated player on the bench who you trust, you know, to bring them in, they've got a point to prove. The person that drops from the starting side to the bench, you know, is a little bit disappointed and they've got a point to prove from the bench and, and they up their ante in training so um, I think it's it's sensible selection and like I say when you trust the players then uh, you know hopefully it should it should pay off. Interesting selection in the back row as well to bring back, back James Haskell what do you feel he's done especially to get his place back after one game on the bench? Yeah I think his physicality really um, I think you know he's a big man and uh, uh, he's really worked hard on all his little bits and pieces in his game um, but I've been impressed with his decision making and attack, his uh, um, speed and ability to get in the defensive line and get off the line in defence. Um, and as I say, he's a big man, so um, you know he's a little bit lucky not to not to start against France. But uh, um, he waited patiently, trained well, came on and did well, and uh, gets his shot now. Notable for some changes, of course, but also notable for perhaps players you haven't changed in key positions, perhaps with like second row partnerships or midfield partnerships. Does that show the importance you feel in not just caps for players, but caps as combinations? It's important as you go forward, the likes of Jeff Parney and Joe Launch should be played together often. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's it. And it's also not making too many changes um, into going into any one game. You know, we've made five changes. I mean, a lot of them are um, like for like changes, really. So Tom Young's Dylan Hartley, Michael Vunapola, Joe Marla. Um, uh, and bringing Toby and Fro in, you know, uh, but um, uh, so you don't want to make too many and I think I'd say there's a certain amount of consistency and continuity you want to take as well from the France game into the Italy game uh, and obviously run that through into the into the Wales game. Just finally, what are you expecting to come from Italy on Sunday? Do you think they're fundamentally changed by Sergio Prise's return? I think they're unbelievably motivated by that happening, you know, I think it'll, uh, uh, it'll give them a huge boost in camp, you know, to have a player of that quality come back in, captain, uh, I think it's been a massive lift for them this week and uh, it makes them all the more dangerous come Sunday. We spoke as well, sorry, finally about Tom Croft on Monday, but he also impressed you in training this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, to get that space on the bench after only five games back for Leicester. Yeah, I think um, because he worked with us in the Six Nations last year, you know, it took him a, um, an afternoon or so to get up to speed with all the calls, the lineouts, you know, remind him of the, uh, our calling system and how we operate. 
but he's an intelligent rugby player. He's played at the highest level for a long time, and uh, no, he's fitted back in well. And uh, great to have him back. Having a player like that with that quality can only put the pressure on and get the best out of the likes of Tom Wood and Chris Robshaw and, and James Haskell, of course. Yeah, I think it, I think everyone understands in every position there's competition. You know, we should have Ben Morgan fit hopefully next week as well. So more selection decisions to come. Cheers, Stuart. Thanks a lot. No